In this demonstration, we'll see how to deploy a TKG workload cluster from Tanzu Mission Control. Already created is a namespace that has permissions, storage policy, and of course, virtual machine classes. So there are four VM classes, all of type small, associated with this namespace. And this will be important as we'll see later. We'll now switch context to Tanzu Mission Control. And the first thing we'll do is check on the status of our management cluster or our supervisor cluster, as we can see here. TMC has already discovered the fact that there is a workload cluster already created, but we're not managing that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new workload cluster. We have to select our management cluster, and then we have to select the provisioner or namespace on the vSphere with Tanzu supervisor cluster. After that, it's just a matter of populating uh, information such as name, uh, some optional descriptions, optional um, tags, uh, and so on. This brings us to the configure part. And in here is where we start selecting things like what Kubernetes image do we want to use for this workload cluster? Um, how many control plane nodes? The size of the control plane? And also whether or not we want to create volumes in advance or just select the default volumes that are being built for us. Uh, and so once we have the control plane node selection, once we have the worker node selection, uh, under the guise of node pool, then we're ready to go ahead and deploy out our workload cluster. Note that the options visible here, such as the size of the control plane nodes and the size of the worker nodes, are defined by what's available in the namespace. So we can only choose a VM class that has been allocated in the namespace and similarly for storage class as well. Now that we've selected the option to create the cluster, we can revert to looking at the vSphere context to see that workload cluster being created. I have sped up this creation process, but what we should see is the first control plane node being created, followed by the three worker nodes, and then followed by the remaining nodes in the control plane. At this point, we have our three worker nodes, we have our three control plane nodes, if we now look at the namespace view, we should see that there are two TKG clusters created, one that existed previously and our new one. And we can now look at the TKG clusters for more detail about the online status of those clusters. Finally, we can shift contexts back to Tanzu Mission Control, where we have a full view of the new workload cluster. And we can begin creating tasks such as setting up data protection and running inspections on that workload cluster.